What's Hello, up, dude? How nice. you doing, man? Hey. Good. Thanks for doing the show. First of all, Pleasure. introduce uh, the other guys in the band, if you can, real quick. Yeah, um, on the bass, I've got um, Steve Fishman, the fish, Good from job. Burbank, California. Good job, brother. And uh, on the skins, Darius Minwala, I call him Dr. D. And uh, he's uh, hails from Vancouver now, but he's a native of Seattle. Oh, cool. On the skins, nice. Good job, guys. Yeah, that's a lot of sound for three guys, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> too much, maybe. That's pumping it. I like it. <laughs> hey, you, what? You oh, sound, and real quick, you sound like the Doors if they were a punk band. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, I'll take that as that's a compliment. That's a huge compliment, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, John. Yeah, like, you, you know, the first song that we heard, I mean, yeah. it, was, it was a kind of an expansive, like a jam type of song that, that uh, was awesome. But it just seems like it, you're taking two kind of music forms in a way like the jam band and and the punk sound and fusing them and it's oh, really uh yeah it's really great We've well i mean there's so many different styles of music these days isn't it and you can just take a bit of this and a bit of that and put it together and yeah. hopefully you come up with something new do well, you, do you buy into that style of music putting stuff in a box kind or is it just ridiculous to even talk like that i mean it's, it's hard to be i mean i spent a long time in the stranglers being pigeonholed a certain yeah. to be a certain kind of thing so now it's it's nice to be out of that right box, yeah. you know, oh, that's good for being, a, being a good guitarist in uh the punk world had to be kind of uh at times unique anomalous yeah 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 yeah, not, <laughs> right? not, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah well I, but I, i'm playing a lot but better now than i used to be in in uh, in those days oh yeah oh yeah uh the uh the video for uh god is a woman uh caused kind of a stir uh, I hope so. Apparently, right? So I hope so. Can you describe it a little bit? <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you know, one of my favorite album covers was the Electric Ladyland cover with the girls on yeah. the floor with the wreck, and it was it was banned, and that was like how many years ago was that? That a was a long four, time, nineteen seventy. Yeah. Fifty years ago, it's like easy, uh, yeah. yeah, late sixties. So, I thought, well, what happened if I made a film like that? Right. What, um, have has anything changed? <laughs> and we put it up on YouTube, and it was immediately taken down. So it, obviously nothing's changed. Now you're right. In some ways, oh, they try to tell yeah. you it has, but it really hasn't. You yeah, know? yeah. So now, now we put it up on Vimeo with a with a warning at the beginning saying, this this music. I mean, this this is, contains scenes of you know nudity, and it's going great. Do yeah. you find it just as fun now to push the envelope? Is it just as much fun to like? Uh, uh, aggravate those those a holes that your leg aggravating. <laughs> well, I don't like political correctness. I mean, yeah. you were talking about it. Earlier. I know. Well, it's, it's comedy's cool. worst enemy it's too. It's killing yeah. senses of humor, yeah. and, and you know, everyone should uh, everyone should be able to be made fun of. You know, sure. Because, uh, otherwise, where what sort of society are we living in? So, I, so I try and without uh, without getting too. Um, Without upsetting too many people, I just like to, you know, play around, be playful. I think you've got to be playful. I always felt, did you feel like punk was music's sense of humor in a way? Like it yeah, was, you know, it was punk, a, punk was yeah. music's co version of comedy, you know? Yeah, like, and a lot of those bands were very comic. I mean, I remember seeing the Pistols right at the beginning of the show, and they were all wearing D mob suits, and they came, they looked like right. the Marx Brothers. There was a sense of yeah. irony to, to yeah. all that stuff, yeah. which I that I loved completely. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you feel uh, like the Telecaster is the most punk guitar? Oh, I don't know. It's just I use it because it's simple. Yeah. Not enough, it not many decisions through. to make. I mean, it cuts through. It's trebly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, especially for a three-piece, you know, you want to you want to pierce. Yeah. Well, right? there's not many decisions. It's either front pickup, back pickup, or a combination of the two. And that's yeah. all. <laughs> Whereas you get a Stratocaster, I'm always confused. I think, well, there's so many positions yeah. and buttons here. What do yeah, you do? You you know? Five ways. Too many yeah. decisions. Yeah. That was yeah. part of punk's sort of rebelliousness, too. Like, look, we're, we're proud of the fact that it's simple. It's not, like, complicated you yeah. know, uh, yeah. big uh, orchestra type stuff. It's yeah, yeah, Just yeah. in your face, like, you know, exactly. like the Ramones, Dee Dee Ramone, like, you know. Yeah. Was it the sort of thing, Dee Dee Ramone couldn't uh, sing and play guitar at the same time, which is why he wasn't really? the singer. That's why they made Joey the singer, he was the drummer or something like that. <laughs> uh, what, 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 I wonder if that's exaggerated. I don't know. I, I don't think you ever listen to Dee Dee Ramone talk. I don't think it's exaggerated. <laughs> what, what, yeah. what, the, what do you remember from those days? Can you describe it in any... Like in, in a minute or so, like what it was like back then, punk. Well, I mean, I was in—I can only experience what I tell you what I experienced in London. Right. And in London, it was very uh, the, the uh, there were a lot of shows happening outside of the uh, media knowing anything about it. So you'd go, you know, you'd hear the word that so and so was playing down somewhere, you go down there, yeah. 
and there'd be no pu no journalists there, and so it wasn't written up, and it's, it was really out of the in the hands of the pe of the musicians. It was very exciting. Like That's a, probably when it was almost, the most fun. Yeah, almost clo close, like to the jazz scene in Paris in the fifties right. or something. You know, oh, so and so's playing there tonight. Let's go and catch them. It's very exciting. You know. Well, they talked about it even in New York with jazz, the way they, they would play. You know, for the square sort of all night. Yeah. And then they go up to Harlem to Minton's and play till nine in the morning just for themselves or something. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. And a lot of that used to go on. I mean, we used to play in a place called the Speakeasy. We got a residency that is where all the established musicians used to go down for late night drinks. Right. Mitch Mitchell was in there drinking, and Jeff Beck, and all these people. And we got a residency to play there. And the the Clash and Elvis Costello people, they they'd say, "Can you give us a lift down there? We'll be, we'll be one of your road crew." Yeah. And they used to jump scene. in the back, what, what and they carry in a guitar, <laughs> and then they'd be in there. Wow. What a great group of people that is, man. I looked like them hanging out that night. It was <laughs> funny. Good. Yeah, I'm sure. That's well, uh, this is uh, going great for you now. Uh, you're busy. I mean, upcoming shows. You got December 10th, uh, right, Sellersville man. Theater in Pennsylvania, December That's tomorrow, 11th. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, Church of Boston, uh, December 12th, Buffalo. Uh, and you got December 13th, yeah. Pittsburgh, the 14th, Detroit, December 15th, Toronto, uh, December 18th, you're at Chicago, Reggie's, December 19th, Minneapolis, uh, at the Belmore. And uh, how do we find you online? Just, uh, just uh, HughCornwell.com. Just HughCornwell.com. Yeah, simple. And uh, you'll see all these, I'm, I'm sure. Um, well, you know, listen, uh, uh, pleasure having you here, man. Well, thanks for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Keep, on, keep on rolling. It looks like you're doing great. And uh, if you ever get a chance to, please come back. Thank you. I will get it. Sounded great, guys. Thank you. Good yeah. luck with everything. Happy holidays, and uh, uh, we'll talk to you, all right? You great, Cornwell. Yeah. Back after these words. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.